Hello everyone, welcome back to Mule Channel. My name is Colton and today's video is going to be on Leslie Headland. She is a new showrunner for uh, Star Wars SJW TV show and you have to see what she said in a Variety interview last year. It is unbelievable. And uh, this is why she was hired because uh, Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, they love racists and sexist and uh especially if you're a woman if you're a woman you you're already at the top of the list if you're gay you're even taught even you go up a little bit and if you don't know, you're she's white but uh, i mean if you were black i mean you'd be at the very top of the list um but she is white and she hates white people you can't make it up and uh, we're going to check out Tessa Thompson and go over Brie Larson's past as well. There's a whole history of hating white men in uh, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and uh, we'll go over that in Disney. And we'll go over that right now. I want to start the video just getting up to speed on uh, past comments. Uh, this is Brie Larson in an interview. I forget uh, when, but um, let's just listen. Um, what does it mean to be a woman in film? It means it's really hard. Uh, and if you're a woman of color, then it's really, really hard. If, it, if you're a woman, it's like really difficult. If you're a colored woman, it's like extremely difficult. <laughs> the, um, this is so sad. This is, uh, victimhood. This is all victimhood, you know. Um, woe is me. I, it's so sad. Brie Larson is so sad. She was, uh, what, 12 years old and was signed by a talent agency. Her parents are filthy rich. And paid for all of her acting schools and shit. But it's really hard. It's really hard. It's hard work. So is, so is being a mechanic. Uh, you would, I would never see any of these two women uh, underneath a car ever. But uh, acting is so difficult. That 67% of the top than a quarter were white women and unrepresented men. Again, she loves, absolutely loves uh, identity politics, race, gender. These people absolutely love it, which makes you a sexist and a racist. It's <laughs> all they think about every single day. How do asking her publicists to get her facts on stuff. Oh, this many percentages did this. Only two? Wow, well, that super doesn't represent the country. That's true. This is a huge disconnect from the Ukraine breakdown of 30%, 20% men of color. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. All of this. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. But what I... The condescension in her voice, her, um... She hates white men. She does. And uh, right after this, her boyfriend broke up with her white bro white boyfriend broke up with her. What I was saying is, <laughs> is that if you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is an insanely low chance a woman of color will have the chance to see your movie and review your movie. Other people. That makes absolutely no sense. There's no gatekeeping at a movie theater. Is she she's saying that black women are incredibly poor and live on the street? Is that what, is that what she's getting at? Anyway, we we already know about Brie Larson. How about this is a new one that came out recently? Tessa Thompson doesn't want to work with a bunch of white people. That's what the Avengers are, and a bunch of men. That's what the Avengers are. This is from two thousand eighteen. Um, she said it in her interview. Um, I want to see work that's really looks like the world in which we live in. So there are lots of people of color. Look around. And it's also really exciting. Not just what we put on screen, but also to work inside of productions that are inclusive. Inclu you know, inclusive means non-white. That, that's, what, that's what not inclusive means. <clears throat> I want to show up on set and have it look like the world I walk in every day, which is full of women, people of color, and folk with disabilities. I want to make content that feels like both on camera and off of it. That makes no sense. <laughs> what? So you're going to hire on race, identity, 
if someone's disabled, that's how you're going to hire people? Like, this makes no sense. The movie industry is for profit. How? This, this blows my mind. These people hate um, earning things on merit. They just want to be given stuff. I'm a, I'm a black woman, so I want to be, like, given stuff. And that leads us today to, uh, this is from Jeremy on uh, D-Day Cobra. He's the one who brought this to my attention. This is May 9th, 2019. Variety has a video um, where Leslie Headland says that white women in Hollywood need to step up. This is an amazing video. This is absolutely amazing video. And uh, we're going to check it out right now. This is unbelievable. Are you ready for this? So she is the new uh, showrunner for a Star Wars female-led TV show on Disney+. Plus Because uh, there's not enough women in Star Wars. There's not enough women in Star Wars. And, um, you know, I've come to the conclusion that, look at these three women here, that people on the left, are uh, women, like far left women, are always obese. I, I just noticed that. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that's correct. Um, it, well, obese or just packing more weight, you know? They're, they're, they're so stressed out over identity politics, and uh, I think it just adds pounds, really. And, um, you know, all that soy that they drink as well. That, like, I, I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest. Like, <laughs> sorry, but I'm calling, I'm calling you bitches out. Like, uh, um, what? She's white. Um, you really do, because, like, you know, there's, like, we can, I couldn't agree more with everything that, that these brilliant women are saying, but, like. Because they, they all think exactly the same. People at Variety think exactly the same as these people. They, they are so scared of different opinions. They're so scared of conservative opinions, of libertarian opinion, opinions, uh, centrist opinions, they only want liberal left-wing opinions because they live in a bubble and they're so fucking scared of anyone else who isn't in their bubble. I'm also seeing the silent killer, which is a lot of white women at the top who are kind of reinforced. Oh, but, but, I, but I, thought, I, thought white, I thought women couldn't get to the top. It's the patriarchy. The patriarchy. But let me uh, rewind this. Kind of reinforcing a lot of old ideas. A lot of white women at the top who are kind. Of a lot of white women, but I thought women couldn't make it to the top. Kind of reinforcing a lot of old ideas. There, there. I think a lot of it, you know, to give. Do you know what old ideas means? Old ideas means conservatism. Them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll just speak from my own personal experience. It's just like I wasn't sure how to be an ally. <laughs> God, do you know what an ally means? An ally is you're you're supportive of the gay community. <laughs> this is a, this is oh my god. So she's saying that first off, she's saying that women are at the top of companies, which is against the patriarchy. You guys talk about the patriarchy all the time. Secondly. Talking about conservative women are not allies for the gay community. Yeah, because maybe their values don't add up. Do you, do you ever just does people like this ever understand that people have different opinions? Let's listen to that again. Ideas. There, there. I think a lot of it. You know, to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll just speak from my own personal experience. It's just like I wasn't sure how to be an ally. I wasn't sure what type. I got so caught up in like what kind of terminology I was supposed to be using. Oh my god. This is this is a person who's going to be writing a new Star Wars TV show. That's female centric. And being politically correct and 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 so uh, as I started to rise in television, I started to just get more blunt and just Oh, but but I thought women couldn't be successful, but you just said you were rising in the television industry. I was saying like I would like a black writer because if I said diverse, oh wait wait we have to see, we have to hear that in full context. I to just get more blunt and just start saying like I would like a black writer. 
get <laughs> No way. No way. She didn't just say that. She didn't just say a racist comment. I started to rise in television. I started to just get more blunt and just start saying like I would like a black writer. Because if I Oh my god. <sighs> Imagine if you were, uh, you're running a retail store and you're like, um, hey, we have this great candidate. He's a hardworking, smart white man. Oh, no, he's not black. I want, I want black. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my. Get more blunt and just start saying, like, I would like a black writer. Because if I said diverse, you know, you, you get... Wait for this, wait for this, wait for this. This is amazing. This is amazing. Because if I said diverse, you know, you, you get, you get, well, white is diverse, which is something somebody said to me. And I was like, wow. Um, did, did you hear that? If you're not looking at the screen, please look at the screen. Because this woman is the biggest sexist racist I have ever ever seen because if i said diverse you know you you get you get well white is diverse which is something somebody said to me and i was like wow uh. so white people aren't diverse white people aren't a part of diversity when someone says diversity it means non-white which is a, a phrase i'm going to be keying going forward because there's only white and then there's non-white there's no mixed, there's no Caribbean, it's it's white, non-white. That's 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 the only uh What one more time. I I have to I have to hear this one more time. This is amazing. Like, I would like a black writer. Because if I said diverse, you know, you you get you get well, white is diverse, which is something somebody said to me and I was like, "Wow." Um uh I was like, "It's not cool." But um <laughs> what these people are so racist and people are like cheering and like yeah yeah i agree what how how do they get away with this behavior not not only do they do this behavior they get promoted because of it why do you think she is working at uh, lucasfilm right now why is she showrunner for star wars because of her i identity and her politics because this is the politics of kathleen kennedy the force is the force is female but but to really you know i i reached out to my you know um uh the, the women that i respect who are who are, are not white um writers and directors and i said <laughs> <laughs> every time every every sentence she says is racist and the people next to her are just like, yep, 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 yep. What should oh I say? My. What, what, lang how, what language should I use? You know, and, and I think it's worth it if you're in a position of um, hiring power God. or, or uh, green lighting power to like, reach out to people that are not like you and say... <laughs> well, that is an amazing line. Reach out to people not like you. They, they all live... In a bubble. They all say the exact same thing. I have a cat. You can hear my cat. They, they all say the exact same thing. They, they go on these panels and they say the exact same thing. They go on these panels and they talk diversity, inclusion, blah, blah, blah. And then now she's talking about, oh, we, we need different opinion. I don't see any conservative on this panel. Do you? It's, they act like... Anything center right doesn't exist. What can I do to be an ally? And, and how, can well, I how can I be an ally? I need to be an ally. How many times can she say ally? How can I support um, writers of color and um, um, LGBT, LGBTQ and disabled writers? Like, what can I do? And um, 
what kind of uh, vocabulary should I be using? Because I think it's just easier, I just see it in the room, like I just see them kind of go like, it's just easier, like the guy at the top's louder, it's, it's harder to say like, I think this should be a black writer, I think this should be an Asian American actor, I think it should be this type of, like I would like to cast, um, you know, uh, really I find it a lot as well with as, as a quick she is a racist how can you woman like with uh gay characters whether they be gay men or uh gay women where i'm saying like that's not a gay person like <laughs> sorry like this is not a gay person like we're not representing that in in this storyline like it, like you you basically want me to cast some they love identity politics to unbelievable levels they can't just hire the best person. They can't hire the best... Like, the shows she's done are not, like, Marvel movies, right? Where, like, Captain America was created 70 years ago or whatever. And he's a white man. She's creating new characters. <clears throat> and she purposely wants Asian Americans. She purposely wants black people. You can't hire the best uh, people for the job. And it doesn't even sound like the script is like, oh, all the people have to be black, all the people have to be Asian. It's just like, no, no, I want to, I want, I want black people. I want to. It's like, wow, she's white and she hates white people. Someone that you find attractive, straight white man, <laughs> and that you think what you think a lesbian looks like, and that can be very frustrating as well. So, I think if we can get some of these, the person on, on her left, just I'm, like, yep, yeah, I agree. <laughs> This is amazing. Let's look at this panel of people here. Name me the... Show me the one who's conservative. There's seven people on this panel. Tell me which one is conservative. Is it... Is it... The, the gay guy with his leg crossed like a woman? Is it that woman? Who's laughing and giggling at everything she says? Is it the sexist racist? Is it the approval one who's like, yep, yep, yep. This one, yep, yep, yep. Is it this one? Again. Or uh, is it the uh, disabled one? Maybe he is a conservative. Maybe the disabled one's conservative. This guy is, looks like a male feminist. Again, what I said about left wing women always being obese or uh, slightly overweight. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, and uh, you know what? Uh, you know what's even more amazing? Um, that woman, Leslie Headland, uh, used to be Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant. <laughs> Back around 2012, when when Harvey Weinstein was in like his heyday. She was his personal assistant while he uh, <laughs> made women basically have sex with him to get parts. And she was his assistant. Isn't that great? Isn't that lovely? Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant is uh, this woman right here who wants to make a female-centric uh, Star Wars because uh, men are evil. And uh, I'm going to guarantee you, I'm going to 100% guarantee you that 75% of the characters in the series will be black I, or Asian. I 100% guarantee you this. And um, this is insane. This is completely insane. This person is sexist or racist like I've never seen before in my life. All it took was a two and a half minute interview, and uh, this is amazing. I I don't know what to say, um, but please like the video, please share the video, please comment and uh, subscribe to the channel. Let's make let's get over a hundred subscribers, and then we can go to 200, 300s from there. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out my other videos. Bye bye.